I like to sing, dance, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 fun. Someone was suspected of being responsible, but it was all hushed up. People, how y'all doing? This is Jake Belcher. And uh, we, as always, appreciate you tuning in here to uh, Grand Theft Audio. Today is uh, Wednesday, July 9th, 2017. July 19th. And, um, you know, we hope you guys are uh, having a great summer. It's amazing how fast this year is uh, barreling past, though. I mean, are you, do you feel the same way, Brant? Yes, I do. Yes, um, I do. It's just <clears> a, I mean, the fact that we're almost, we're almost at the end of July just kind of surprises yeah. me. It's flown by. It's just uh, whipping on by, man. Uh, I, I, I don't know that I've ever felt time really going this fast. I've had a lot of things going on in my personal life like uh i'm moving right now so that's always a stressful thing um but uh you know other than that uh we uh didn't have our show last night i want to uh pass on from the entire zina family our condolences to um paul e. z and the rest of his family at the loss of his uh, brother last week um very sad um we uh went out last night and kind of got together as part of the ujn family and uh you know celebrated life a little um but um you know it's just a really sad when uh, someone uh you know young dies i've dealt with old death sure. you know parents grandparents um th things like that but like my age range i i i i i don't know i had one friend in my uh, one peer that was in my age range die in my mm -hmm. lifetime and that was when i was 19 mm -hmm. uh, or 18 and he was 19 it was i mean it was a surprise that it mm -hmm. happened but uh what, what, I don't know. Uh, was it somebody that I would have known? Uh, his name was Peter Wong. He was uh, oh, he went yeah. he, he went to to LC mm -hmm. like we did. He yeah. was he was in Madrigals the year before mm -hmm. I was. Uh, he so was I, he a year older than us? Yes, or? he was a year ahead of us. Uh, and uh, that summer, he and I hung out a couple of times along with some other friends. That just you know they they uh, look, just. Uh, plans that we set to go like mm -hmm. go see movies or just hang out and, sh and stuff back then but so just uh, a terrible accident <clears throat> he, he his kidney just stopped working Oof. he had he had had a gen he had had a disease when he was a kid uh they thought they had gotten under control with medication he hadn't had to be on meds for a very long time and he had gone back to college he was uh uh starting his sophomore year at ucla well, uh, I'm sorry for that family's loss yep. uh, those twenty some years ago. No kidding. But uh, any, but anytime you're dealing with like a you know young death, yeah, I mean, it's especially someone death. who's close to your age, yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely a an awakening. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, sorry to um, you know all all you Z's out there. All right, uh, what do we have going on? Um, okay, a couple things happened in this week. Uh, one is a big um, trailer that came out on BBC. Branch, what, you, you got that uh, ready to queue up for our uh, If you'll give me just a second, I will here. Sure. I'm all set here. So just to... this week we're going to bounce around a little bit more. I'm kind of hard on Branch on all the things that I've sent him. So uh, if things are uh, delayed a second, uh, it's more my it fault than his because I got you be to really late. I think I got it all set. So All right. Uh, okay, I keep my mics up. Yeah, your mic's up. Yeah, your mic's up. Okay, great. Um, oh, it's all spooky. Are you a Doctor Who person? Yes. Okay, so um, did you know the previous 11 Doctors? Would you be able to um, say, that's Doctor <clears throat> Six? Or that's no, Doctor no, not Five. at all. I could, I could probably go from 10 up, mm -hmm. uh, but I wouldn't be able... No, excuse me, I could probably go from 8 up, but before that, not so much. Remember, the series originally started in the 1950s. Really? Yes. I, I know very little about it. So, did you tune in to see this trailer to see like? Um, uh, no, heard? I saw. I, I heard about it. I, I think I saw it on a Facebook post or something, and that's how I saw what was going on. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. Oh shit! It's a, it's a, it's a long-haired dude. A, it's a woman. Oh wait. No. Okay, so um, very exciting. There's uh, obviously people who are super excited at this idea that um, the doctor doesn't have to be a, a man. I agree. There right. was, um, I'm glad they didn't change it to nurse who. Sure. No, but um. Here's my problem with it, man. There's people out there who think that they should now uh, uh, turn the wasn't, they didn't woman like into a, a tranny character. Like that is, she was born a man and became a woman, or became born a woman. Or, or she was born a woman. She, should she dress as a man then? Yeah. Is that what they're saying? Because that's the exact. That's the same thing. That's being a transsexual. You are. It's just not enough that it's a woman character. Right. You know, like it, it's like we. Th 
this was a great uh, trailer that makes sure. us super excited. Let's just pretend now that an entire season with her being a woman has happened, and now we can just uh, move on to like what we want the next I- I- like sure. incantation of it to be. Uh-huh. And, well, that, that's the thing. I, I, um, with the Doctor Who character, yes, it's something that can change. But uh, there was a list of like other actors, British-born actors, who could be up for this role. Did any of them have boobs? Yes, there were several women. Oh, good. And some of them were actually black women. So when you first mentioned to me that there were people who weren't happy that they that it wasn't progressive enough, yes. the fact that after twelve inceptions of this character, you've now gone to a woman. That's a that's a big step because the, for you know, I'm sure but that, not big enough. Not big enough. Because so when you said you that, I was thinking, up oh, maybe there. maybe maybe there should have been uh you know a black woman is what they were expecting or 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 something like that they wanted they wanted to have two of the best things instead of just having one they can't just go with a woman and then potentially go on to you can you can have a transgender at some point yeah but i don't think that's where the doctor is in his evolution let's just enjoy that it's not like a, a fucking white male i mean because that's just so much of what it is you know like I, I, I'm happy that it's a woman. There's more characters that should be women. Like, uh, I, I'm perfectly fine with that. Sure. Um, but it, this whole idea that it should be a tranny, and it's not enough, is very offensive to me. Uh, this reminds me of a, a side conversation that I got into this week. Uh, I got into a conversation this week about whether, um, you know, people of one race should be able to play people of another race. Right. The whole idea of, like, um, you know roles of minorities going to white people plans. sure but uh kind of, kind of like you're you're talking about like mickey rooney playing uh the japanese uh tenant in the in breakfast at tiffany's yes, the, I think the that's, neighbor that's generally viewed as the most offensive oh yes most offensive um, stereotypical kind of uh version of that sure but yes but that's what you're saying and this person is arguing to me like oh you can't have like white people can't play roles of like um ethnicity and um that's just so dumb like, if you decide on that, then you also have to decide that, like, people with who are, like, ethnic can't play white roles in. Like, if you can't play a role that you're not born as, then, you know, it, it works the other way, too. It works like uh, all those roles in Shakespeare can't ever be acted by minorities or um, women because, like, you know, they're, they're, those, are, those are, are white people. Mm-hmm. So... You know, I, I, I'll make the fucking train, okay? If we decide that white people cannot play any roles of, like, uh, any type of minority, anything, if you can't play anything besides white, then nothing besides white can play white either. Like, then that seems like it's a fair trade-off to me. But that, that seems like a total rip-off for people of, like, color and ladies because there's all most, most great roles, you know, have been written for white people. So, like, um, you know, maybe you should just kind of... You know, simmer down on this one a little bit. What do you think about that, Brant? Um, I, here's the, uh, what, what are you talking when you, when you say eth- ethnic people? Like, what, what what roles are you talking about? Matt Damon uh, like, can't play what uh, Chinese. He can't. He can't have. He, but uh, but uh, I mean, the character is 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 a creation in, yes. in movies and television. Every every character is a creation, so yes. it can be anything. Mm, yeah, can't but, it? but not to the people who get mad at everything. Like um, well, no, yeah, well, but no one's. You're never going to please all of the people. But there's just um, uh, the, the, there's certain people that we need to call out for their 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 ridiculousness, and the people who say that like um, you know, you, you can't play one race as uh, if you're another race as an actor. The whole thing is acting. It's not being or like becoming or representing. It's acting. <laughs> I mean, it, it just seems like the word. In itself tells you it's not real. It's acting. acting. So, God damn it, relax, people. Here's a something else you need to relax about. Uh, Brent, you got that video from Bianco Shoes. So, uh, I remember talking about this uh, a couple of months ago. Where um, we're going to start seeing that... Um, okay, so women are so ripped off in the workplace that now equality is not enough. The idea... No, no, no. The, are they saying in the workplace or... Well, in both the workplace and outside of the workplace. Oh, no. This is in the workplace. They, they mentioned this, both. Okay, the, go ahead. This is saying that, you know, uh, the, the complete bullshit lie of women making 79 cents to every dollar that a man makes, uh, it, it's horse shit, uh, that... Even right now, if we went up to dollar for dollar and we made it exactly equal, it would not be enough. Um, that women deserve more. Brent, show this ad. Oh man, life is rough. Look at her standing there working. She's getting off work, and she's uh. Listen up. She works in a 
There's still not equal pay for equal work anywhere in the world. And it seems most women are not even angry about it. Why don't you angry about it? I can't hear it. That's why. So let's set a new goal. Sorry. From now on, they got the sound. Equal pay is no longer enough. Equal pay not enough. Need more. Our haircuts are more expensive. Because you're goddamn dumb, you Our pay. underwear is ridiculous. Because you want your ass to look great. It's not for it's me, it's for you. Trust me, my wife doesn't care. to be a woman than to be a man. It just costs more money to be a woman. Get paid like less than now, someone who applies sure body that, uh, lotion to his get paid face. More than men. He doesn't need a new outfit for every new occasion. He doesn't even know that yeah, the shoes make the outfit. Yeah, Teach him a lesson. Oh, the joy of choosing the right shoe. I can't hear it, so I don't know why I Fashion is expressing yourself. And what every stylish woman is expressing is that equal pay is not enough. Equal pay is not enough. Yeah! Use that shoe! Smash it in there! Okay, this shoe company is just trying to justify that they charge $500 for their cheapest pair of fucking shoes. Like, this is the most self-serving to their own audience bullshit. Women need more. Yeah, uh, you know, just equality, totally not enough. It's, uh, this is the type of stuff. Like, this doesn't show up in my Facebook feed. They're not trying to give this to me. But this is showing up in, like, uh, you know, your daughters and your wives and the people who, you know, like a picture of shoes. Uh, Brett, what do you think about that ad, this campaign? I understand some of the arguments on both sides. Okay. Number one, they're not getting paid to do the exact same job that uh a man's doing okay putting in the same number of hours they're getting paid less right no they're that's not, not it's not true it's like, not uh, true it is really? not true like that is just something that the media tells you all the time to like uh drive a um a uh, a spike between uh the sexes it is not true it, How, okay it, but, it but, but where, where, where is your information coming from saying that all this stuff because there have been studies by economic you're talking about economists who spend their lives studying this stuff sure that are paid to come up with an opinion i mean like right. we, we can I, i'll find you the studies uh i will disagree with you that you think it's okay. true you disagree with me that i think it's uh fake so continue okay well, okay well, here, here's the thing I, I i do believe that women make less than men do I, I I've just seen. I don't know what you base that on. <clears throat> Based mean, off of people I know who make, who, who I mean who who do you friends know? of mine that, that work in jobs where they have their peers who make more than that. People I've worked with who and it, and it just and, and they say you have a female friend that says I I got know this guy named Tom who I've been doing work. this I've been no they, they and know. he does the same thing as me and he makes uh, more money than I do. Yes. Well then uh, she's a bad negotiator or something um, because it's uh, it's just not true. But but please continue okay with the other okay points. now. There are more expe- the, the things that are, the expectations on women are higher for them. So the, the the haircuts costing more that's on them, but the fact that say uh, razors why are razors more expensive for them than for us? They're the exact same fucking razor, just it's pink instead of blue. The pink dye costs more than the blue dye, so you're going to charge three times as much for a, la- a razor. The lady's going to need twice as many to, cu- to to shave her legs than a man will to shave his face. But then they're just dumb for buying the more expensive one because but it's, it's pink. But it's not, it's not pink. Because it's pink then. I mean, if you're saying it's the exact same thing and it's only a, a different color in the dye, okay, but is the, then, isn't, that, then that is a dumb choice But isn't the, comp- then the company itself is doing they something stupid. They are being stupid. marketed to and they are believing it more. Um, so, you, so you're fine with the idea then of women making more, basically is what you're no, saying. No, no, no. I'm fine with women making the same amount. Well, but them, that's, them complaining that's not about what this the, ad's about. I didn't ask you about that. No, no, it, you it, it's this, both. Because they want, they want to make as, at least as much. They want more because they have to spend amount. more than we do. Uh, they, want, they, they just don't think it's uh, you know, a, a fair thing. I, I think it's ridiculous to say that uh, you deserve more because you're a woman and you're dumb enough to buy into these things. Because women are not buying into these things for men. No woman gets dressed up to please a man. A woman gets dressed up to show the other women around them that she's better than them. Like, uh, I, how do I know that? Because I've talked to women. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and, and that's what fucking happens. Okay. Uh, so they, you don't, you they, don't think that to themselves. You don't think that the, that the woman being on the guy's arm, that's just to show off to the other women. It's not for the guy to show off to the other men. Don't, I, I can't she's not putting it. in the effort to be with that man. There, there's no, no, no effort no. needed by a woman to be with a man. No, no, no. no. All the what effort I'm is put like, in to be ahead of the other women. Right. But at the same time, part of that is being on that man's arm, the man that she's with, right? And that's for him to show off, correct? So she's got to spend that money so that when she is paraded out as a trophy, because if she... If wow, she, you're a cuckold, man. You, I can't believe it. That's amazing to me. You, you 
you think that uh, women deserve more than men. That's, no, that's amazing I, to me. Do, I, that's, I, it's amazing to me that you think that, but that you, I can't finish my argument to, to begin Please with. Please do. No, no, because no, I'm going to get interrupted. So why don't you know what? Actually, we got to get. We got to go. We're way past break time. I'll be sitting in this exact same position, Great. waiting for the other half of this argument on the other side of this break. Listen up. There's still not equal pay for equal work anywhere in the world. And it seems most women are not even angry about it. But we should be. So let's set a new goal. From now on, equal pay is no longer enough. Because women need more. Our haircuts are more expensive. Our underwear is ridiculously more expensive. It's simply more expensive to be a woman than to be a man. Should we seriously get paid less than someone who applies body lotion to his face? He doesn't need a new outfit for every new occasion. He doesn't even know that the shoes make the outfit. Oh, the joy of choosing the right shoe. Fashion is expressing yourself. And what every stylish woman is expressing is that equal pain is not enough. Equal pay is not enough. All 
All right, party people, we're back here on Grand Theft Audio. We showed you that ad again that uh, had Brant and I in an argument. He doesn't have a camera on him this week, which is a total drag. Mm -hmm. a good one to go back and forth on. Uh, so uh, we're talking on, on the way out about how the uh, pay wage gap uh, is um, a horseshit made up feminist thing on my part is what I say. Uh, you can go to The Guardian and find an article on from August 4th by Mona Shalabi. Um, I mean, this is too hard to get into on the air between us. This mm -hmm. is just where I get this from. Uh, and you can go check it out and find out about how that's actually uh, not true. They use the U.S. Census Bureau as their background for how they actually figure it out. But um, I still think it's horseshit to try to force down um, people's neck the idea that women just deserve more just because they're women, which is the basis of this argument, that uh, they pay more for their things, they're women, they deserve more pay for the same thing that we do. Uh, is that the jump off point you think for where our our argument no, is? At the end, well, sure. I think at the end of the day, it's a commercial for selling shoes. Sure, and uh, that's fucking five hundred dollars was their cheapest pair that I saw. No, I'm, 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 I'm finding them for seventy six bucks for Tony Biancos. It's there. There are high end I, ones so and low end. I think there's, there's different. So there's different the levels. With Tony on the name. That's like the Kmart version of it. Uh, I'm sure. Like it you is. just want the Biancos, and mm -hmm. um, the, the, those are minimal five hundred bucks. Like. Uh, uh, that's that's what I found. They also make men's shoes. It seems like they're more. They started off more as a men's shoe company than a women's shoe. I just went black on the screen. So. No, it's still here. The, that that the the screen okay, back great. there is making problems sure. all day. I, I make sure that everyone's watching us there. Um. So okay. Yeah. Where where were we arguing? Where where is our jump off? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We've got other fun things to okay, talk right, about. Let's, let's argue let's, about the next thing that I that well, I okay, made okay, let's, right. let's see if there's stuff to argue about on this one. What's Great. the next one? H how about this? There's this uh, study out of a um, a uh, university in um, Canada, and I, I forgot to send you the story. But now this is another one we can look up uh, and just look up what the term it, uh, term is. These scientists have now decided these are like social justice warrior scientists who have come up come up with this term called hetero masculinism hetero masculinism and basically what it comes down to is the idea that um we can't have like an equal society racially because so many white people were the scientists and the explorers and the people who came up with the things that we just see as everyday like fact Okay, yeah. I've, I I looked up. I, I came I came up with hetero masculinity. I, this is hetero. This is a brand new thing, man. This is hetero masculinism, and it affects our society, not a person. This is how our society is affected. Like our our society is sick, and we are sick with hetero masculinism. Basically, like I'm saying, like there's so much of our science and stuff that was done by white people that we need to now redo our basic science with people of colors and, and, and women at, at the helms of doing our basic science that we can now then all take faith in that they are real and they exist. Like there's just, um, there's too much history with, uh, you know, white people. So uh, the, the less reliance on white male heterosexual and cis cisgendered that means straight uh, right yeah so basically they're saying that that history is too much about the white male heterosexuals but it's more than history it's also science i mean li literally they're mad that like um there aren't more black scientists from the from the past from the past yes and we can't trust this the these basic science things if they were if they were done so heavily by white people so now we have to, what they want to do is they want to like, they want to have like a black and Chinese woman figure out some way of measuring out milliliters and then like she can add them all up and be like, okay, that's 10 of them. So that makes a liter <laughs> like so that we can just start building up from the basic fucking level so that they, they, what they're what you're saying is that there are people who are actually searching through history for people who may have done this before in other in other cultures if they could find that that would be wonderful for their cause and they could believe more in that but no i mean they want to start the building blocks again but by people who are not can you read the description of it again the cis call for the le for less reliance on white male heterosexual and cisgendered academics yeah, academics. I mean, like, it's it's lunacy. I mean, 
Are we just supposed to pretend, go back in time and pretend that... Says gender, denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender correspond with their birth sex. Straight. So right. like uh, if you that were... Correspond. Like, yeah, I was born sh born straight, right. so I continue to be straight, so right. I'm a cisgender. Yeah, so now they've come up with this. It's it's all just these fancy words. Every day there's a whole new one. And this is today's new word, man, heteromasculinism. And it's uh, there's people who are going to put money into studies of it, and we can figure out what's wrong with our past, why it's so white. It, it, it's just... It's just it, <laughs> it, it, it just upsets me so. Uh, speaking of upset to me, so I'm not going to spend any of our time showing it on this show because you guys can YouTube it, but the new trailer for an inconvenient sequel is out. Uh, Al Gore apparently needed some more money. Man Bear Pig needed some more cash. So he's now found up an, another way of um, stirring up everybody's fears on, you know, again, a hoax of a, a lot of man-made global warming. And trying to like scare people with it to put money in his pocket. Like, doesn't has this guy made enough money that he can just do this as like a charitable fucking effect? I know that he has like fifty houses and he has the highest, the highest in the country individual uh, electricity use. Like, there is not one person. Like, there's 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 not a rapper who's more successful and wasteful. There's not there's nobody who has a bigger uh, footprint on in America. Than Al Gore, like his use of, um, like he runs enough uh, electricity in his house to have enough, like some other cities ran. It, it's a ridiculous, insane amount. For what purpose? Like why? Because like, he doesn't give a shit about you, really. Like um, he just comes in front of the camera and and gets everybody all scared on the things that are coming. But what but, is he using on his private residence that is that is using so much electricity? Sure, that's been a big question. I mean, um, there's. Uh, we don't know. I mean, that has been a... Uh, Doomsday thing. device. I mean, it's possible, man. Like, he, he have some um, type of idea, like, where he's going to blackmail us all and send us off to the other side of the world. All right, people. Uh, we are really running uh, short on time. we got to go to a break, and I have so many other things I want to cover on this. Um, can I knock out one of these real quick in the next 30 seconds? No, I can't. So you have to go to a commercial break and come back on the other side. were rockin' with a rock band founded in 1983, then reunited in 2016. Please welcome Rough Gut. All right, everybody, it's your, your co-host here, Chris Hager. Hey, Rough Amir to Rock. That's Amir to Rock. Dave Alford. <laughs> A.K.A. Rock and Dave. Rock and Dave. Everybody knows Rock and Dave. Who's missing? Uh, actually, yeah, oh. right? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Paul's out in uh, Vegas, and he wanted to be here, but couldn't make it today. Does Matt's excuse, one? Matt's, no, actually he doesn't. Oh. His excuse is not as good. We're not gonna... Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. He does have a pretty good excuse. Miss you, bro. We do miss you. What is it like starting again? How crazy is that? Not only is it unfinished business, but it's um, nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> Your body's still alive. That was the first poster that Warner Brothers made of us. Pointing. Oh, the 80s pointing. Oh, 84? 86. Okay, 80. 86. <laughs> Jackson Guitars, now GJ2 Guitars, likes to refer to us as the San Diego Mafia. We actually believe it or not, paved the way for a lot of those I know you did. We just wanted to announce that we are actually working with Wendy Dio again now. And we're real excited but about that. She was your manager to begin She was our manager all through the 80s. Oh, we're talking about new music now? We can talk about new music. Let's talk about new music. What you guys got? Come on, well, bring it. Yeah, sorry about that. Camera than I was a minute ago, but uh, that's good because I like this angle. How y'all doing? This is Jake Belcher coming at you live on Zinna TV, and I'm Brent Thoman. Oh, there we go. Camera, I got man. I got myself a camera there. Sure, well, all right. Uh, uh, okay, it looks well, all we'll, official. And we'll stuff adjust, adjust yours in just a second. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, um, who, who who cares what I look like? Okay, what do we got going on? <laughs> uh, Beyonce. 
Uh, apparently, the members of the Beehive, which is the insane group of fans that she has that come online that uh, attack everything that is not perfect about her, uh, got very, very mad today as some pictures came of um, Beyonce at a new wax museum. Let's see what it's, she uh, like Madame here. Tussauds, correct? Madame Tussauds. Big one, yeah. Yeah, this is the the uh, Black no, Museum. Not, not the Lindsay Lohan one. I want the um, Beyonce one. Ah, uh, <laughs> very funny. Yeah, sure. It it does look more like like Lindsay Lohan. That's terrible, man. Like, um, what's happening there? I mean, look, her arms and stuff like look like they're you know too thin. Closer to the tone of skin that I've seen on her. Mm -hmm. Like her fans are just mad that she looks too white in this. You know, I mean, oh. Like uh, well, we we have a picture of one that have another uh, wax museum sculpture okay. that she has that's next that she's next to. Okay, it looks those match up. I mean, like right, she's still actually a lot whiter than I thought she was. But still, what I'm saying is that like these these other pictures of her, um, I I've just driven her fans. Uh, well, I, I gotta say, I gotta say this first one. Yeah. Uh, the issue I have with it is, is like the lighting in there is so bad that I think you know it, it's making her look a lot lighter in skin tone. So maybe it would be better in person and uh, just here it's. Well, look, I mean, I mean, there's no, there's out. not, there's not proper lighting all around it. It's, it's mm -hmm. coming from one from one side. There is a lot of reflective. You're dealing with a wax sculpture. It's not like the actual. Have skin. you ever been to a wax museum? Yes, I have. Uh, is it cold inside? Yes, they are. They're they're kept at a cooler temperature to keep the to keep everything from. Yeah, I would think so. so so, I mean, it doesn't, it's not that much cooler, but it's always an air-conditioned place that you go into. Yeah, we so. never did it on here, and you may be able to find it if you looked at it real quick. Uh, look up Nicki Minaj. Um, oh, I think I had something just a few minutes ago. Yeah, she had the worst um, experience with one of her wax characters at a Madame Tussauds. Uh, it was like set in a private area, and she was so provocative in it. That everybody would try to like get into I'm fucking you Nicki Minaj positions. Like she'd be bent over and there'd be oh, yeah. some creepy old man there running his go. tongue up I think her I got ass a good one here like, I can. <laughs> it was incredible. Uh you got you got a shot of it? Just a second, I will. Cool, man. Um so, so this is one of the reasons that you want your you want your wax character in a in a, a standard position where like no one can get their genitals too close to Here we face. go. Yeah, fuck Nicki Minaj. Yeah, he just like everybody just uh, was real gross with it. And there's, <laughs> there were uh, women who. Oh, there's um, there's a whole bunch here, but that's the only that's the one I could download the fastest. Yeah, I saw one of girls uh, doing a, a line of coke off their ass. Um, okay, women, uh, waxy, too hot and stuff. Um, let's see what have I got. Oh yeah, this week some champagne party. Um, that's another the recap on, of the champagne party on yeah. Zinna TV. Uh, uh, an amazing fucking conversation. Okay, so on this show, these uh, girls, they explore the hardest subjects in the world. They are trying to tell women how to get laid. Now, I, I know that that is like an impossible task out in the world, um, but they have a couple of tricks and a couple of things they would like to teach you about. Okay, okay, on their defense, yeah. some of the stuff is like techniques that they're suggesting yes. you use with your men. So yes. I, I applaud them uh -huh. graciously for that because yeah. any any kind of, anything that they have found works on their man that they're going to pass on to be with me. And if it works on me, thank you. If it sure. doesn't, we find out. There's some value to that. You're but right. I, I appreciate the attempt at trying to make sure we're taken care right. of. There's some so. value to that. Now, here's what they're teaching this week. They were teaching <laughs> about a, uh, a product that I did not know existed. Um, this is deep throat spray, comfortably numb. So if you're tired of that cock hitting the back of your throat and having it really hurt, oh, 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 like uh, you can uh, a couple of deep throat sprays and you're ready. Indeed. Like you are. Um, it's we, party time. We were informed that they actually make them in mint form as well. But this mint? Spray, yes, as in like little capsule oh, mints. Oh, okay, yeah. So that you could you could swallow the mint and do yeah. that. But that but uh, the Tamara who was who was giving us the lowdown on it said the yes. spray works better. She she knew the difference. She right. known enough of the difference between the two to be able to recommend. And I appreciate that this com the company that made this yeah uh does also offer a multiple of flavors i think okay. we saw we saw earlier we had uh this is uh the, probably their best selling the spearmint uh everybody, yeah everybody loves the spearmint then there's the uh good old cinnamon hmm. cinnamon flavored cinnamon cock okay so so it's, it's so it's it's hot numbed cock it's hot and numb back there well man wow. that sounds like a terrible combination and then, of course chocolate mint hmm um Okay, if you had to have your throat numbed with one of these, which would you choose? Probably the spearmint. Because I imagine that the chocolate mint 
would not taste very good, uh-huh. period, at all, regardless of what else is going to follow. Yeah. Uh, so it was making me think in the middle, though, like, this this is a throat numbner, like, for guys with giant to right. make their women's throat, like, not uh, be as hurt and sensitive. Right. I think they should come up with a, a product that for, like, guys with small dicks to uh, have them spray in their uh, girl's mouth, like, a, a throat sensitizer. So, like, every time it goes in, like, a tiny dick goes in, whoop, whoop. It actually like, makes it feel like it's bigger in there than it is. Hey, dude, trust me. Like uh, that sound is it, it does a lot for your mind. Like if you've never heard that sound, which I, I, I look, we've been friends for twenty five years. And I've known your past girlfriends enough to know that you've heard that sound. Yes. Okay? So what? Uh, that doesn't that sound make you feel good? Sure. So like if you've had, if you're like a chapstick sized dick dude, and like you've never made your girl go oh. <laughs> like, and you put this little spray on it, and you can feel like um, John Holmes. Like, sure. <laughs> like, there's a lot of money made in this. Now, maybe not here, but in like, okay, uh, give me a stereotypically small penis place. What do you mean, a stereotypically small <laughs> penis place? A stereotypically small Cambodia. Cambodia. I bet you can make a lot. I don't of money. know any Cambodians that I might offend sure. by saying that. I mean, they may be the black people of the Asians, and they sure. may be like you know, like, um, like that. <laughs> well, you're like on that. camera now to show <laughs> how small. Like, look what I'm showing. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Darn it! Just a second. <laughs> I'm showing something biggie. Sure you are, and I, I was saying you know bigger. That's still pretty good. That's yeah. still pretty good. Sure, That's still pretty good. We did not offend the Cambodians. No, I don't think so. So um, yeah, they can't they can't take any offense to that. Um, all right, let's move on to some other nonsense. Um, uh, we talked earlier about uh, a passing in our Ultimate Jam Night uh, extended family. Uh, we also had on Cameron Romero a few years ago. Uh, he is the son of George Romero, um, the great uh, horror filmmaker uh, who passed this week. He's basically the inventor of the mob zombie with the um, the Night After the Living Dead movies and all of those. Um, so, um, you know, sorry to see you pass George Romero. Uh, one of the all-time greats in um, horror. Were you a uh, a fan of those movies? No, I've never been a fan of of like gore horror. Mm-hmm. Like I like suspenseful mm-hmm. horror films. I have no problem with with death and dismemberment mm-hmm. if it's done in a way that's just not you know Cronenberg style. Mm-hmm. I mean that's that, that's too much. That's yeah. just over the top for me, and it's not something that I appreciate visually. Some people totally get off on that. I mean, we grew up with guys in high school who that was the style of movie they liked the sure. most. Uh, for, I don't uh, know if you ever grow out of that either. I think that once that's your favorite, like it's your favorite forever. I think you might be right. You know, because uh, I still talk to some of those guys, and they are still into that stuff. Uh, okay, entertainment stuff. Uh, are you familiar with Dunkirk? Yes. So the, the um, new movie coming out. Yeah, I guess it's made by um, Nolan. Um, yes, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, the guy who made the, the Dark Knight ba- the, movies. The Dark Knight movies, yes. Uh, apparently, he has a little regret on one of his casting choices as he is now getting death threats because one of his stars is so famous and so popular with like the Twitter age people. Oh, yeah, I've heard about this. Uh- this is a Harry Styles. Yeah, Harry Styles from One Direction, who are now threatening to kill the director if he has the actor's character killed in the movie. I mean, it's not like it's not movie, even a real person. It's, it's not, not like, even a real person. We're not killing. What's no, his name? Harry again? Styles. Harry Styles. No. You're not going to die. No. Really fine. To, because there isn't a Dunkirk two electric right. boogaloo. It's right. not. Hap- right. There wasn't a second battle of Dunkirk. Right. So if the character dies, it happens. But you know what? Take that emotion and focus that on something positive in the fact that when you get out of the movie theater, you're uh, you're going to be so very hardly, but then you've entered the real world yes. where Harry Styles is still fucking alive. Breathing and alive, you know? So like everything's just fine. Singing probably someplace. It, it's exactly crazy. Exactly what you want. That people make threats to like real life people. Uh, it, it's not like if this was... Uh, you know, High School Musical one, and you knew there was going to be five of them, and he wasn't going to be in any of them. I'm terrible. I'm telling Cry you right now, out. if Thanos wins the Infinity Wars yes. in Marvel, I'm going to blow up Disney Studios because okay. I just can't. I just can't. If he doesn't win the Infinity Wars, excuse me, yes. I, he has to win yes. because if that character yes. does not universe, take this serious, people. You know, 
we're going to have to blow up the Disney studio because it's just not possible that that doesn't happen. Yeah, very sad. It's impossible. Um, on, on that subject, did you see the image of him this week wearing the um, Infinity Glove that came out from D23? No, I have not seen that. Yeah, that was their big drop this weekend, uh, Thanos wearing with the, with the actual gauntlet. Wearing the actual uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Um, okay, uh, one more thing, then we'll get into uh, our last, uh, we'll go to break and come into our last segment. Uh, we are coming up now on the 20th anniversary of the Harry Potter books. They announced today that two new books will be coming out. They are, um, you know, unfortunately not what people want. This is more of that side nonsense where it tries to explain some stuff in. It's going to be, uh, here's some history about one of these monsters, and here's um, here's where this... So they're prequel books about characters. Yeah, but they're, 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 they're set up more like research books. So, like, there's not a narrative when you read them. You just pick it up, and you read, oh, here's a dragon that lived off in this mountain and maybe some guy chased down a long time ago. So it's um it's bullshit historical research books. Um here's what is upsetting to me about Harry Potter right now. I am now hearing that they are ready to relaunch the movies. It's time to remake pull, pull them out of the vault. Oh no, you know what no. we're talking about actually going back a to book 1 and doing a reboot. New actors Making yeah, and doing a reboot. They'll make a they'll make a fortune. They, sure, I mean, and I guess that's all that counts. I mean, it, that's everybody that I've told this to. That's the exact same first thing they've said to me is they're going to make a fortune on it. But uh, how long ago were these were these movies made? Have, are are the special effects so shitty in the first one now? Like you can tell that that owl's flying in front of a green screen, or I mean, is, is there some reason? A, a, a reason has movie magic gotten so much better that it actually makes it'll make the real magic look the fake magic look real maybe man i mean there's a lot of people out there who are excited at what james cameron is doing in secret now on the how many avatars is he making at the same time i don't give a fuck i will not, <laughs> I will not give one dollar i really I, no, not a, one dollar one dollar no nope, i will not spend wow. i will not pay, pay two dollars i won't even dude um i was so disappointed with the first one mm-hmm. again and my, my disappointment comes from the fact that i thought it was a complete and total ripoff of another movie that i had seen done 20 years mm-hmm. earlier in the west called dances with wolves and there are so many similarities that trying just to watch it with giant blue creatures is the difference uh, the fact that disney bought it and has created a section of their park to be the pandora world and that there are those that That's there crazy. are at least three more films in three. Route. I know. At they're doing at the same time. Uh, yeah, they're filming them all at the same time. So just like they, so that way every every six months they can just drop them out there and make their billion dollars. Maybe you should have done this ten years ago, like when it first came out. Like it's been a long fucking time since Avatar came out. It was one of the first sure. things that we did with GTA was like going and doing like a yep. screening of it so we can talk about it on the air. So I mean, it, it's been a long fucking time. Hey, and, and Cameron, if you uh, if technology's gotten so much better, maybe you could make a Titanic movie that doesn't cost a billion dollars in the first place. Uh, or however much True. it costs. You were the most expensive movie at all time. Let's see if you could come under budget the second time and do it all over again. Let's get everybody back on board. I mean, not everybody. Let's get the ca- the crew on board because at least they know what they're doing in the and first place. And maybe this time at the end, instead of having Jack just die, he can like say to Rose, hey, scoot over. Yeah. Because like, you, you got a floating thing that's big enough for two people, you fucking bitch. All right, hey, we got to go to break, okay? Yeah, we do. Uh, we're going to come back on the other side with our holiday nonsense. And there's some great ones uh, to talk about this week. So um, you got two minutes or whatever this is. And I'm Nicole, and we're the ladies of Suicide Suicide Girls Girls Radio, Radio. the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. I'd just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. And it's uh, Mary Carey, of course, politically naughty with Mary Carey. I'm always naughty. I'm always politically. My behavior is always politically, politically naughty. naughty. I'm never politically correct. I'm Dr. Dr. Drew, hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so hey guys, how are you? It's all teary-eyed, doctor. I know. She wishes she could live at rehab. <laughs> <laughs> but only if Dr. Drew's there. Sure. Obviously, if someone like, you know, is a little too groping might be inappropriate, but I like, like the flirting. Well, and stuff. When I, when I, I walked in, you shoved my head in your No! <laughs> <laughs> Get politically naughty with Mary Carey, Mondays at 4 p.m. Jason Stewart here for Zena TV. On the show Absolutely Jason Stewart, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. 
big guests, everyone from the gayest to gay to the straightest to straight. David, uh, oh, what was his name? He's absolutely Jason. He's absolutely gay. He'll absolutely brighten. Yeah, that was the image there, wasn't it? Uh, Thanos with the Infinity Glove. Yep. You uh, managed to find it, man. Uh, that D23 is a pretty amazing thing. It is a uh, kind of the insider Disney thing. And this year, they have their newest legend. Their newest legend is Whoopi Goldberg. Um, what can you think of Whoopi Goldberg in with Disney? I, 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 I ain't got shit. I mean, she did one voice, I think, in like The Lion King. But even then, it wasn't like a big voice. She wasn't Rafiki or like, um, you know, like one of the main characters. I, I, I can having, you know, one kind of small role. Okay, you know what? We got to think about the Disney family or the extended movie families that there were. Touchstone Pictures. So, Sister Act. There you go. Sister Act was pretty big. Yep. Uh, but is, is that enough to become a Disney legend? And uh, I think that she really embarrassed them during their first um, big thing. Uh, she came out onto the stage and she talked about how Disney needs to bring back Song of the South. Hell yeah, I'm man. I'm totally for that. I mean, I, I think that's great. I uh, I saw it in the theaters like uh, the last time they did it in like 83. I was nine years old. And um, it was uh, it, it's great. I'm sorry that there's some racially insensitive stuff in it. But, maybe but that's can, a part of our history. That's it's a right. part of our fucking culture that, we, right. that, we, that we're keeping from people because we think it's inappropriate for them to know this. It's on both sides of the fucking aisle. There's not an Asian or a black family in this country that doesn't have stories that talk negatively about white people. That they I, I can't imagine that there experiences is. that they've had and vice versa. Right. And unfortunately, yes, the... The hetero masculinism. Yes, is, we're so white, and we've we've written down history for so long. We're completely wrong, and that that everything that happened because of that is something that should never ever be told about. Well, then why is it now seventy years past the Holocaust that we stop talking about it? Because we everyone, I'm not denying it. I totally believe, and I totally Good believe that, yeah, that that this this occurred, and it was a travesty. It's it is horrible that so that so many lives were wiped off the face of this earth by basically one man. But uh, I just don't. I know, man. There's something every day that just drives you crazy and crazier. But I do love that Whoopi Goldberg has come out here and made a stand that we should bring back Song of the South. Stop trying to she, know, okay, well, change uh, okay, um, um, what The name of Tom, uh, Tom, from Tom and Jerry, the name of the uh, black woman who was the, uh, who was the house servant. Do you uh -huh. remember? I don't know her name. Mammy, Mammy Two Shoes? I think it's her name. Uh, at Whoopi Goldberg actually does a PSA in front of that. Uh, that talks about um, how um, that it may seem inappropriate, but this was a part of the culture at the time, so don't take so offense I, at so it. I, I know that uh, she did a lot of that stuff. She was hired by Warner Brothers to go and be uh, and talk about all those old racially insensitive cartoons then. So right. this is something that she's done. I think it's a, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big Whoopi Goldberg fan, but I think this is great. Okay, let's get into the stuff, because I know we're running out of time. How much time do we have left in the show? We have two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, shit, man. I got a lot of stuff to rip through here. Okay, this is Cell Phone Courtesy Month. Movie theaters last week. People need to learn this shit. Get off your fucking phones at the theater. God damn it. Yep. I mean, wasn't there some technology that they had where they could turn off your cell phones inside of, like, a theater? They could they could just dampen the signal so hard that they can't get to it or yeah, something? But it still, it still lets turn it on so they can check they can play a game or they can oh, check man, to see gotta, if they got, got a message gotta stop that gotta stop that yeah, you okay, should well, have got two minutes to know independent retailers month uh brant do you have a favorite independent retailer not that i can think of off the top of my head yeah, i mean uh, i got, I got uh, some i got uh paul grimshaw's uh, house of secrets there you go okay like uh, Mc, mcginty's okay fine mcginty's at the top of the world sure, in right Altadena. One, uh this is also um uh, repair month so if you're in trouble with the uh your loved one like your your wife or your whatever like if you're in the doghouse work on it this is a good time to do that uh this is also take your poet to work day brent you have a favorite poet um not that i can think of off the top of me. yes pablo neruda there you oh, go all right uh you brought your favorite poet uh mine was like hickory dickory duck sure and favorite then, poem uh okay. oh yes you're right that would the poet would be andrew dice clay <laughs> so. the dice man um okay so uh there's, there's also some weekly holidays this is everybody serves a massage week um okay here's something i 
I thought the massage parlors were for creepy men who wanted hand jobs. I didn't realize how much more it's for lonely women who want to be finished off. Like, I, I legitimately didn't know how much of it is like action at the uh, massage house. But I just, uh, I've talked to a couple of masseuses lately and they told me that that's what's really happening there. I, I did you, did you? me at all it, i believe that there that, that that the number of women who yes. have not who do, who not, do not achieve orgasm yes. with their partners is yes. far superior to that sure. of the men and uh thusly they they need the outlet themselves yeah and they're tired of doing it themselves but why thought, not why not get there get the rub down and then get the rub off but i thought for sure it was going to be men who were going to way more but it's for women man that's crazy to me uh this is also baby food week uh brant uh have you ever tried like baby food sure. as an adult sure all those people who were like oh it's disgusting i don't know what they're talking about like um i think it's, it's just pureed food, food. It doesn't. It's uh, delicious. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You can put it. You know what? Turn it into a smoothie. It makes it great. You know. Sure. Just the, whoop, whoop, whoop it in there. there um, use some of that throat numbener. Um, okay. Uh, tomorrow is jump day. So uh, on Thursday, make an effort to jump and celebrate um, a jump. Uh, Saturday, spooning day. Brant, are you a? Uh, do you like spooning? Sure. If I've got somebody. You're so big. Have you ever been the inside spoon? No. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. This doesn't work that way. I think I've heard all day. Okay, two last ones. Um, Sunday is a Gorgeous Grandma's Day. Um, so do you have a grandma that someone can beat off to? It's grandmas.com. Uh, lastly, Monday is Video Games Day. Uh, Brent, cool. best video game of all time. Of all time? All time. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know. All time? All time. That's a, I Dude. know, man. There's so many great ones. Okay. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3, to me, was such a... I it was so immense into, and, and got so much into that, I'd have to put that at the top of my list. I'll say, I, I'm going to take a little bit of a mulligan on this one. Sure. Um, and I'm going to package three games together into one because okay. they're very similar. But I'm going to go with the Akai, um, which I don't even know if that's the right pr way of pronouncing it, wrestling games that came out uh, in like 99, 2000, 2001. So uh, No Mercy, WrestleMania 2021, and NWO versus WCW Revenge. Uh, where we played all of them. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you're right. Those those were um, those were those are those were my favorite games. Uh, they were the best creative characters I've ever had sure. in a game, and I loved them. Uh, that's our week, man. Um, do you have anything uh, you want to pimp out? Nope. Uh, I'll I'll pimp out for the Zinna TV network that we have two more live shows here for for the rest of the day. We have um, a show by Valerie Vicky Vicky Vicky, Vicky Abelson. It's Vicky a, Abelson. The name of the show is The Road Taken. Yeah, and she's got some great guests on today. Yep. Uh, let me double check real quick here because I can give you her name because uh, it's a fairly good name. Uh, shoot, hold on. There we go. Her name is Julie Warner. She was uh, the romantic interest in Doc Hollywood. Love Doc Hollywood. Yes. That was a great movie. Yes, it is. And after that, we have a brand new episode of the So uh, plenty of more entertainment. Um, uh, we appreciate you guys. Please tune in again next week uh, at our brand new time, Wednesdays at 5 p.m. here on Zinna.tv. Uh, the name that'll stand the test of time. The test of time. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brant Thoman. Uh, as always, thank you.